Why do people say that Asians are the worst drivers when statistically speaking, they might just be the best drivers? Yeah, we gotta talk about this viral video from self-proclaimed data nerd Brian Shu. This is going viral on a ton of different platforms right now. So much discussion. Let's run the clip. Asians are not bad drivers, but yes, they are. Asians have the least vehicle deaths in the US by over 11 times the next lowest, but Asians make up a smaller percentage of population. Asians have the lowest vehicle death rate by over 4.5 times the next lowest, but Asians might drive less. Asians have the lowest vehicle deaths per miles traveled by nearly three times the next lowest. But Asians could be crashing and not dying. Crashing and not dying seems like better driving than crashing and dying. But a safe driver doesn't mean a skilled driver. Crashing and dying does not seem like skilled driving. But Asians just don't know how to operate a car. Asians made your car and are three of top five at selling cars in America. But I saw a bad Asian driver yesterday. I don't care, show me the data. But Asians are still bad drivers. Asians might be the best drivers. Oh my goodness, Andrew. People have stereotypes, but Brian came with facts, but I guess facts don't necessarily tell the whole picture either. David, if Asians are the safest drivers, why do people still say that Asians are the worst drivers? Let's break it down. Uh, I love his delivery. It's very, very odd. But it's actually very like, I don't know, stark. Yeah. It's hilarious actually. But uh, anyways, guys, so generally, you know, the stats are Asians have the lowest car deaths, lowest deaths per hundred thousand people lowest deaths per hundred miles uh three of the top five car brands are from asia so of course i guess uh by causing deaths asians by far do it the least but still a lot of people generally even with these stats in their head will be like i don't know man i still feel like asians and particularly possibly asian parents or asian immigrants are the worst drivers but what do they mean by that right because even be asians said this themselves yes, even asians say it and we, obviously we all in our asian lives have a lot of stories of like silly little things that maybe our parents or aunties have done in cars but let's break this down with nuance guys please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pop boys because we're not here to throw asians under the bus but well also asians don't throw themselves under the bus because they don't cause deaths <laughs> Is it possible that Asians are considered annoying driver, drivers rather than unsafe, whereas other groups, maybe they're like less annoying, but statistically more unsafe and more lethal? All right. I think this is, I think this is the, the point here that I think if you look up, think about other people like, oh, like a, a white person, right? They might be a better driver because they can, you know, they have better control or whatever. They know how to parallel park they're more better. treating it like a sport. They take more pride in driving. However, maybe in that they're also more likely to drive drunk and speed. Right, which also causes a lot of accidents. Asians, right. possibly more timid and annoying in the sense that they might drive slower. I've seen it happen. Uh, stop suddenly, uh, not signal. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> Make stupid, silly little moves. But, but you know what it is? I think the underlying motivation is almost being too scared. Yeah. Whereas other people might be like too confident and reckless in a different, they're both not optimal. They're both not how you would want to drive, but they're motivated by different emotions. Well, also, again, you also have to look at the rate of road rage. Do you think Asians road rage is probably the lowest too? For sure. I bet, I would bet. Not, but like, it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen, right? Right, right, right. Um, it's possible that Asians, if they do cause an accident, it's more like a fender bender or bumper to bumper tap where insurance actually doesn't get called. Because Brian Andrew, he had more of like the 10 out of 10 downside outcome lethal like right. people dying right yes exactly um yeah like uh i think it also has to do with how many wild or crazy people you have if you have a lot of wild crazy people in a group it, it could skew the aggregate statistics a little bit yeah. right yeah like i i just think that asians i think people are okay saying that asians are the safest drivers or least lethal drivers but a bunch of people are still gonna say oh man i was annoyed by what that asian lady did on the road the other day is it because in the west andrew driving micro skills like parallel parking and like the smoothness of your turn accelerating through the apex these are almost all tied in with like western culture or masculinity and in the east i feel in my opinion driving unless you're a driving enthusiast is just viewed as like just a way to get from point A to point B. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section, guys. A lot of talk right here. Somebody said, uh, man, they drive pretty good in Asia. And then somebody said, no, they don't. 
Um, I, right, this so this is yes is, and no, right? This is very interesting because I don't know exactly the stats in Vietnam, China, South Korea, Japan, but I will say this, that in certain countries like uh, sometimes China or Southeast Asia, there's almost like, it looks like there's no rules to the road, but then like, it seems like people are under control. So at least seems like controlled chaos because yeah. people aren't driving as fast. It's true. In America, we drive really fast. The roads are big. The cars are fast. The cars are big and the highways are big. So therefore you're speeding. But in other countries and even in the city of New York, within the city limits, people don't drive that fast. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think there's a variance. I wouldn't be surprised if Japan had the best driving. South Korea came in number two and then like, you know, the rank just went down right, from there, right. to be honest. But if you really think about Asia in general, Andrew, it really depends as long as everybody's on the same page and everybody's aware of how everybody else is going to react. Sometimes it can look very chaotic, but the outcome can be pretty much okay right. because everybody knows the same, like, operating system that everybody else is operating got it got it this guy said nah i grew up in an asian community and even the sidewalks and parking lots were not safe for pedestrians i almost got mowed down before so this stereotype proves it correct in my experience i don't care what the data says and somebody says have you ever seen asians driving in a 99 ranch or other asian parking lots <laughs> like you you might get hit um so yeah. this kind of goes back to it. it's like the stats are the stats though you know what i mean i have never seen Anybody get killed in a 99 Ranch parking lot? But I will admit, it is frustrating to park in a yeah, lot of 99 Ranch yeah. parking lots. Yeah, I think annoying or unpleasant is the word. I could see that. Or uh, timid drivers. And honestly, like, it's so weird in America. It's like when you know, like, in America, if you know someone is scared, it almost makes it worse. Like, people hate scared people in America. And I do think Asians drive scared, but... I don't think the most dangerous, but I definitely know what they mean by like, oh, I all I, everybody feels like they almost got hit by an Asian driver before. Oh man, no, for sure. I mean, listen, guys, you just got to go to an Asian enclave. But uh, let's be honest. I mean, it, it depends depends even the socioeconomic status. When you're uh, in six two six Garvey Valley, Maine, Las Tunas, Huntington, those streets are all almost completely Asian. But Huntington is the safest to drive on because it's the nicest one. Yeah, 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 that's true. Um, somebody said it's not that Asians are bad drivers. It's just that some of them are inconsiderate and rude. Um, you know, you have to be pushy. You have to cut in. It depends. Somebody said, what's the definition of a good driver? Faster, arriving five minutes earlier, precise. What about having a scratch on the car, but no crash? What does it mean to be skilled versus safe? I think this is what a lot of Asian parents tell themselves in their minds. Like a lot of... Asian immigrant parents are probably like, hey, you know, like, I got there, okay, nobody gets hurt, you know? Yeah, I ding up the car a little bit, but you know, I don't know, that's my car. I pay for the car, so it don't matter. Right. <laughs> This guy tried to explain it. He said, Asians are awful drivers, not in the sense of accidents or deaths, but in driving etiquette. I'm not talking about the Asian American in a modded car that's clearly on some fast and furious tip. I'm talking about your average older Asian American male or female driving a minivan or a luxury SUV, drifting slowly in the left lane or way below the speed limit, aggravating other drivers, not pulling up to the middle of the box to let drivers pass behind them, giving up the right of way at inappropriate times being overly cautious will definitely keep them out of accidents but it just absolutely pisses everyone else off on the road let me tell you this i can say this as an asian who went to chinese driving school in china we only pe drive to pass the road test nothing about good driving etiquette mm. yo his examples hilarious nah, slowly I've drifting been, left I, when the minivan in the toyota i've kind of seen it i've kind of seen it man i guess Somebody said it's weird because Asians are too cautious and oblivious at the same time. What a weird combination that pisses everybody off. Yeah, yeah, Hey, yeah. Andrew, did they have a way to describe it? They, well, this was better than how I was going to describe yeah, it. Yeah, and here's what I think. I think the most deadly drivers, to be honest, are speeding, and they're probably intoxicated. So I think that those probably cause the most deaths, and I just think Asians, like, even if you're driving slow, but you're about to, like, run into the curb, technically, if you're going kind of slow, you have time to save yourself and save right. other people, you know, even though it is kind of, it's annoying. And is it, it, is it almost like, and I love, you know, I love Jalen. Shout out to Jalen. He's our friend. But is it almost like other races are driving like Russell Westbrook, taking some sort of reckless drive into the lane? And then other Asian drivers are like Jeremy, that one game uh, when he was on the Knicks against the Heat. 
Remember when they were like full court pressing him with mm. Norris Cole and stuff okay. like that? I'm saying that like those you could create a turnover yeah. two different ways. Yeah, right? yeah, and I and I think that in general Asians don't pass the eye test when it comes to driving. Mm, they don't pass the eye test, Andrew. This is a white perspective. In my experience, it's not that Asians think they own the road. It's just they're often driver timid drivers that want to stay out of everybody's way so much that they end up getting in everybody's way. What a way with words. And then he said, my experience is they're just well-meaning but overly timid drivers. He had a bunch of other details as well. Uh, yeah, that's a funny way to say it. This person said, same thing for men saying women can't drive, but women get better rates for insurance because we drive safer and kill people less. That is true. But in a parallel parking contest, would you bet on a man or a woman? Right, right? of course. So I guess... Men are the more confident drivers. Right. <laughs> but confidence leads to deadly turnovers, just like Westbrook. That's, I knew how the analogy oh worked out. Oh my gosh, Russell Westbrook, you are the most yeah. American yeah. driver ever. Do you want to play basketball like Russell Westbrook or John Stockton, okay? You know what I mean? Like John Stockton, he's trying to minimize the passes, you know, turnovers, but all his assists were just little pick and roll, little pocket passes through the corner. Man, why can't Asians be like Steph Curry driving to the basket? Somebody Very said, <laughs> I think that dangerous driving has a lot more to do with what type of car you're driving. Look at how many uh, cars accidents are caused by Mustangs or Chargers hitting pedestrians because those are the cars that typically think they own the road think about how many speeding tickets that bmws get it has more to do with what type of car you buy because that shows your personality and your adherence to the law i'm not gonna lie man i've seen bmw speed a lot um andrew people were pointing out that family guy cartoon where the the asian female reporter gets home safe but then causes like 10 accidents on her way to the destination so this is the person uh, so who is arguing that like asians don't uh, are not directly involved in the deadly accidents, but rather causing them. No, nah, I don't. I don't think that Asians can cause that many accidents and not be involved in them. So that's why I think that's a stereotype that non-Asians try to push onto Asians because they know Asians are the safest drivers. You mean because, with the lethal statistics? Yeah, so. yeah. So they try to say, "Oh, well, Asians cause all the crashes." Then, but I'm like, "What do you mean? How can Asians cause other crashes and not be in them? Like at some point." Like, what, you think Asians are causing a bunch of deadly crashes? I can see them causing some, like, people being like, oh, you know what I mean? No, but that's, causing that's not a crash. annoyance. That's yeah. what people are saying. They take the annoying factor of Asians, and they turn it into the stereotype about how Asians are the worst drivers. I get it. That's where stereotypes come from. There has to be a shred of truth. And the shred of truth is that maybe they're annoying and a little bit oblivious drivers. That's it's possible. possible. Maybe that's the truth. Hey, Mark Norman has a joke about like, hey, I noticed that you never see Asians in any accidents, but uh, who knows what they're causing them. Um, Andrew, Joe Coy also has a famous joke about Japanese car engineers basically saying, you know, they make the best cars over there. You think they don't know how to drive them? Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, Andrew, what are the takeaways, man? We, the comment sections, you know, they were hey. so funny. They had so many comments this way and that I way. I mean, this is my overall takeaway is that Asians do not... In general, especially that portion of Asians that you would consider bad drivers, again, not the Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, Nelson Chan, <laughs> Stick Shift, a uh, little... Uh, At the Tokyo, <laughs> Fast and Furious. Uh, initial D you type You're talking about Asians. AZNs and the JDMs. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I don't think I'm a bad driver, but I think that a lot of Asians don't take pride in being perfect drivers. I think that, and perfect and confident drivers, which I think a lot of other Americans might take pride in, Right. And but on the other side, Americans, again, maybe are overconfident. They speed more. They drink more. They're more likely to be in a criminal instance, running away from the cops or whatever it is. That's causing a crash. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think I mean, those uh, I don't really see that many Asian sideshows. Yeah. You know, the car sideshows. Exactly. And those people that are doing those donuts in the middle of the intersection, they're probably highly skilled drivers. But how come it seems like the outcome of a lot of these sideshows is somebody always getting like paralyzed? Yeah, no, I would say someone who is doing those sideshows is highly skilled, but also highly likely to be causing a crime. Yeah. Just, I'm just saying because you kind of have to have skills to even be doing donuts in a car. You know, I right, can't, right. I don't <laughs> know how here. to do that shit. Um, so I guess at the end of the day, David, I don't know, maybe more. What if everybody was a timid Asian driver? That would technically be more safe though. Yeah, I'm actually a bigger fan ultimately of a lot of cameras. I think in the future, we're gonna have AI tags. We're gonna have car sensors. They're gonna be like, yo, you are doing donuts right now illegally in a public school zone, shutting car down. Beep boop, beep boop. You and some people are gonna say that's infringing on their freedoms, but otherwise, also why are you doing donuts near a school? Elementary you school, are guys. trying to ghost ride the whip at 20 miles per hour. <laughs> 
Um, let us know what you think of this stereotype in the comment section below, guys. Obviously, stereotypes, sometimes there's a shred of truth. Some of the times there's a larger than a shred of truth. What do you guys think about this stereotype that Asians are the worst drivers, but now statistically, as far as lethal statistics go, Asians are the best, safest, non-killer drivers. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say new stereotype. Asians care the least about having proper driving etiquette. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Or maybe they just don't know it. Yeah. Who knows, man? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, what is your own personal experiences with this? Like we said, uh, all these things, there's not one truth to them. I, sometimes it's very gray. More Asian know. drivers on the road. I'm saying it. More Asians Amen. on the road. More you know, timid, hey. annoying Asian drivers. <laughs> The stats are there, man. Asians don't kill anybody. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we with the Hot Pop Boys. We out.